Earnings season is almost done this week and investors got severely scared by the market drop at the start of the week. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into today's S&P saga. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,344.16 cents, mostly flat from last week and losing 145 billion of market cap. The P/E ratio, based on current price and latest earnings stands at 27.86, down 0.08 points since last week. Let's go to your gamers. Lily is up 83.5 billion or 10.9% following the company's Q2 earnings and guidance that were better than expectations. Meta is up 71.7 billion or 5.8% as the company keeps riding on last week's earnings. Uber is up 20.7 billion or 16.8% on better than expected Q2 earnings and guidance. Broadcom is up 20.7 billion or 3.1% on no specific news. Costco is up 14.6 billion or 4% on no specific news as well. It should be noted that the company is expected to raise membership prices in the US. Moving to losers, Apple is down 83.6 billion or 2.5% on no specific news. Nvidia down 62 billion or 2.3% due to production delays of its new AI chips. Alphabet is down 37.1 billion or 1.8% on no specific News. United Health down 28.6 billion or 5.3% on no specific news as well, but pairing some of the gains from last week. Tesla is down 24.5 billion or 3.7% following a recall of 1.7 million vehicles in China that will be fixed using an over the air update. This week, there were no changes announced to the SP 500. Q2 2024 earnings season is coming to an end for the SP 500 constituents. Last week, 77 members reported earnings and we now have 74 companies left to report. Nine S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending August 16th, 2024. And the most interesting will be Home Depot on August 13th, Cisco on August 14th, Walmart and Applied Material on August 15th. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for our weekly updates. To find out why Amazon, Nvidia and Intel were down last week, you should watch this video next.